Hey folks, quick update on a few things. Uh, we're going to start with the magneto pause reversal. I think we can be pretty sure that this came from the opposite side of the sun. A few reasons why. The sun does put off cosmic flares, but it doesn't put off anything like this. Not during a huge X flare, huge CME, nothing. Uh, the sun cannot do this on the cosmic ray chart. It's pretty easy to tell what you're looking for here. Those giant blobs. Now the reversal happened at 1600 UTC, uh, which is just right of center here. Uh, on the 12th and you can see that at 1600 UTC on the 12th this is when the solar wind speed took that huge jump so it's very interesting folks now you might say oh well the solar wind that had to have been coming from the Sun well watch it's still kind of normal and it's on the right side right now but when it flips watch all the material is gonna look like it's moving left to right that little circle in the middle that's half white half black the white side is the Sun side the black side is the dark side you can see the material going left to right this is coming from behind the earth Still got to figure out what it is, folks. Don't have any answers yet. But speaking of the sun, it's not done yet either. We uh, have a filament that erupted on the northeastern limb, and perhaps more important geoeffectively, this sunspot 11432 erupted with an M2 flare and coronal mass ejection. The Earth footprint was right on that spot, and we'll probably have a particle flux in the next 24 hours. And as we say goodbye to that little comet, we can see with the Earth over to the right here on the Stereo B, that CME probably is coming at us as well. That is in addition to the one from yesterday, which is set to hit us in the next 24 to 48 hours. This dark coronal hole in the middle of the sun here is going to be putting out a strong solar wind stream. will hit us right afterwards. And the coronal mass ejection associated with today's M flare and CME should hit us a day after that. So we're still looking for answers, folks. Definitely don't have one here. A lot of stuff we can't explain, but what we can tell you is that we're going to have some significant space weather over the next couple of days. Let's keep our eye on all of it, folks. Be safe.